Prime Minister Narendra Modi says yoga brings people together and gives a message of universal brotherhood. Northeastern states also join the nation in celebrating 6th International Yoga Day. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh holds high-level meeting with Chief of Defence Staff, Armed Forces given full freedom to deal with any aggressive behaviour of China along LAC. A record single-day spike of 15,400 new Covid cases takes India infection tally past 4 lakh mark. And country witnesses a rare celestial event, annular solar eclipse today, partial solar eclipse in northeast. Good evening viewers, welcome to the Northeast News Bulletin. This is Ashutosh Sharma now with the details. The 6th International Yoga Day is being celebrated today. The celebrations commenced with a message from Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In a televised message, Modi said, yoga brings people together and gives a message of universal brotherhood. He said, yoga has emerged as a force for unity and it does not discriminate and goes beyond race, color, gender, faith and nations. Modi said, yogi enhances our quest for a healthier planet and it has emerged as a force for unity and deepens the bonds of humanity. Go hai pranayam. प्राणायाम याने एक प्रकार से ब्रीथिंग एक्सरसाइज है अंतरराष्ट्रीय योग दिवस का ये दिन एक प्रकार से एक जुटता का दिन है ये विश्व बंधुत्व के संदेश का दिन है ये बनने सब ह्यूमनने का दिन है जो हमें जोड़े साथ लाए वही तो योग है जो दूरियों को खत्म करे वही तो योग है कोरोना के इस संकट के दौरान दुनिया भर के लोगों का माय लाइफ माय योगा वीडियो ब्लॉगिंग कंपटीशन में हिस्सा लेना इस बात को दिखाता है कि योग के प्रति उत्साह कितना बढ़ रहा है कितना व्यापक है प्रेसिडेंट रामनाथ कोविंद टुडे ग्रीटेड द पीपल ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ सिक्स इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ योगा in a tweet he said the ancient science of yoga is india's greatest gift to the world govin said amid stress and strife especially in the covid-19 pandemic situation practicing yoga can help keep the body fit and mind serene the president said he is glad to see that more and more people are adopting it The northeastern states also joined the nation in celebrating 6th International Day of Yoga today. Assam Governor Jagdish Mukhi expressed that yoga is not only an exercise but also builds up a connection between the mind and body. The governor said that he regularly practices yoga with his wife at Darbar Hall in the Rajbhavan for 40 minutes. He was even encouraged to see people welcoming Modi ji's idea of celebrating yoga. मैं समझता हूं आज कोविड 19 के चलते योग का महत्व पूरे विश्व में और बढ़ गया है Along with the rest of the country, Assam too observed the 6th International Yoga Day with Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal leading the Yoga Day celebration in Dibrugarh. 
The state celebrated the event amid the coronavirus pandemic, adhering to strict guidelines laid down by Ministry of Home Affairs. The Chief Minister practiced yoga at his Dibrugarh residence with Dibrugarh MLA Prashant Fukan and Lahawal MLA Ritu Parnaborwa. Sonwal said that let's do yoga and build a healthier society and added that yoga not only helps build a healthy body and stable mind, but also molds our personality. He even said that yoga is India's gift to the world. जनगणे निष्ठारे एकाग्रतारे the Governor of Arunachal Pradesh, Brigadier Dr. B. D. Mishra retired and the First Lady of the State, Srimati Neelam Mishra practiced yoga regimen on the occasion of International Yoga Day on 21st June at Raj Bhavan, Itanagar. Due to COVID-19 pandemic restrictions, it was done in a non-congressional manner with just a few family members with the theme Yoga at Home and Yoga with Family. In this occasion, the Governor gratefully complimented the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, who has done a great service to mankind by getting 21st June accepted by the United Nations as International Day of Yoga. The First Lady of the State, who for the last four decades has been an ardent yoga practitioner, thanked all her yoga gurus and said that mankind owes gratitude to the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, for promoting yoga, the noble Vedic Indian legacy for the human cause. The governor called upon the people to practice yoga as a daily routine and avail benefits. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh today held a high-level meeting with the Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat and three service chiefs on situation in Ladakh. After reviewing meeting, armed forces were given full freedom to deal with any aggressive behaviour by China's PLA along the LAC. The meet also discussed to adopt a different tactical approach in guarding border with China henceforth. Top military brass was also told to ensure strict visual on Chinese activities around land border, airspace and strategic sea lanes. A record single-day spike of 15,413 new COVID cases took India's infection tally past 4 lakh mark on Sunday, while the death toll rose to 13,254 with 306 new fatalities, according to the Union Health Ministry data. The jump of 15,413 cases takes India's caseload to 4 lakh 10,461. The number of recoveries also continued to surge with 2 lakh 27,755 patients cured so far, while there were 1 lakh 69,451 active cases according to the updated official figures at 8 a.m. One patient has migrated. India registered over 10,000 cases for the 10th day in a row. The country has witnessed a surge of 2,19,926 infections from June 1 till June 21st with Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Delhi, Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh being the top five states. Health Minister of Assam Himanta Bishwa Sharma tweeted on 21st June regarding the present COVID-19 situation in Assam. He informed that 133 new COVID positive cases have been reported. Among these, 73 are from Kamrup Metro, 31 from Nogao, 18 from Jorhat, 5 from Udalguri, 2 from Golaghat, 2 from Majuli, 1 from Dhemaji and 1 from Tinsukia. The total corona cases have reached up to 5,388, whereas 3,202 have recovered and 9 have passed away. Arunachal Pradesh has 121 active Active cases, Manipur has 545 and Meghalaya has 10 active cases. The country has witnessed a rare celestial event, annular solar eclipse today. The annular ring of fire solar eclipse, wherein the sun appears like a ring of fire, the eclipse took place on the longest day of the year. Those places that are engulfed by the dark, dense umbral shadow of the moon experience the total solar eclipse. The country witnessed its deepest annular solar eclipse of the century, which appeared in Guwahati at 10.57 a.m. and was scheduled to reach its peak at 12.10 p.m. The eclipse ended by 2.24 p.m. The Regional Science Centre Guwahati witnessed the solar eclipse today at the centre premises. The project coordinator of Regional Science Centre Guwahati, Basudev Mondal, said that the next solar eclipse will be seen on December 14, 2020. During a program at the campus of the Deputy Commissioner at Dibrugarh District, Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal distributed 28 tractors to the local farmers under Gram Unnayan scheme. Sonwal said that his aim was to make a self-reliant and self-dependent India. He even added that if the roots of the country could be made powerful, the entire country will easily prosper. The main aim of the scheme is to increase the income of the farmers and highlight 
the emphasis is to be made on export of these goods produced in the home country. The Orchid Society of Assam is geared up to create awareness and stop illegal trading of the exotic plants through a national level online competition. Boasting the second highest number of orchid species in India behind Arunachal Pradesh, Assam accounts for about 400 species and most of them are classified as wild and endangered. Northeast accounts for more than 70% species in India. The Northeast and Arunachal Pradesh con alone contribute 580 species approximately. The last date to upload the entry entries is June 30th, while a five member jury will announce the three winners on the 5th of July. The government has decided to establish 1,000 Kelo India centers at the district level across the country. These centers will be run by past champions or have them as coaches. The move is to tap into expertise of past sporting champions for grassroots level training of athletes and also to ensure a sustained source of income for them in the sports ecosystem. Speaking about this decision, Union Sports Minister said, and I quote, as the government strives to make India a sporting superpower, one of the things we will have to ensure is that sports becomes a viable career option for youngsters. He even said that the centre wants to ensure that anyone who has played sport at the national level has a life of dignity and stability. To end the news, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says yoga brings people together and gives a message of universal brotherhood. Northeastern states joined the nation in celebrating 6th International Yoga Day. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh holds high-level meeting with the Chief of Defence Staff, armed forces given full freedom to deal with any aggression behaviour of China along LAC. A record single-day spike of 15,400 new COVID cases takes India's infection tally past 4 lakh mark. And country witnesses a rare celestial event, annular solar eclipse today, partial solar eclipse in Northeast. That brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.